And uh, now they have a clear for the weather totally, and they're ready to count down. They have uh, started the clock uh, after uh, holding for the weather situation. They are now at uh, five minutes and counting, Gary. So uh, good news. The weather has cleared, and uh, the clock is once again rolling. So we're uh, about uh, four minutes and uh, 43 seconds now uh, from a launch of Atlantis. Uh, after many, many delays uh, because of the weather situation and because of uh, the health of the uh, captain, they uh, have uh, almost tied a record here of, of all the delays that they have gone through. The uh, Department of Defense secret mission objective is to take a military satellite into space. This is a reconnaissance satellite that will be about 127 miles over the uh, and uh, it has the capability of moving. Uh, it has about five tons of fuel on board. They have the capability to move it around. Uh, CNN's uh, John Zarella joins us now from the Kennedy Space Center. Uh, John, uh, when we thought the window had uh, misprepared, it appears that uh, it is open just a little bit. Well, the last word I heard was that uh, it was a soft close on the window, and they were able to... Uh, to keep it open or extend it a little bit, and uh, it did clear up here, although it is still a little breezy now here and getting a little bit cooler. But a few moments ago, I noticed a star right above the launch pad. So apparently, as you said, they did take it down to five minutes and waited, and uh, now they're going to count this down, and uh, hopefully here in the middle of the night, and uh, we'll get uh, Atlantis on its way. Tom? The uh, picture you see there, they are... Uh the three main engines are being gimbaled now, and uh, so they can uh, set the uh, nozzles in the proper position. Once again, Atlantis uh, countdown is counting down uh, after uh, a lengthy hold tonight uh, for the weather at the Kennedy Space rain showers that moved through the area. Earlier they had uh, winds in excess of the limits and then they had uh, a cloud ceiling that counting. was uh, much and lower than it should have been, so uh, we'll they waited uh, External tank until the uh, clouds moved out. And we just received the go for that. And we'll begin the gaseous nitrogen purges of the main engines. We'll begin terminating that, that activity. T minus two minutes, 40 seconds. And pilot Casper has been instructed to clear the caution and warning memory. A gaseous oxygen vent arm is now being retracted away from the tank. T minus two minutes, 20 seconds, and counting. And pilot Casper reports there are no unexpected errors. T minus two minutes and counting. The crew has been instructed to close and lock their visors for flight. And we have a go for pressurization of the liquid hydrogen tank. T minus one minute, 45 seconds. It's 90 seconds away from liftoff of STS-36. T minus one minute, 30 seconds. Less than two minutes away now from launch. Ground launch sequencer will verify that the main engines are ready to start at the one minute point. One previous time they got down to 31 seconds and they had a computer malfunction. Uh, hopefully this time they'll be able to get past that. T minus one minute and counting. The sound suppression water system is now armed. Pre liftoff water will be released at T minus 16 seconds. The solid rocket booster joint heaters have been turned off. T minus 45 seconds and counting. All systems are go for the launch of Atlantis. T minus 31 seconds and counting. We have a go for auto sequence start. Atlantis's four redundant computers have assumed primary control of the vehicle. T minus 20. T minus 15. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. We have a go for main engine start. 7, 6, 5, 
four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition and liftoff of Atlantis and mission STS-36. Mission Control, Houston. Roll program has begun. That program puts the vehicle in the proper launch plane. Guidance officer confirms good roll. Three engines now throttling back as Atlantis passes through the area of maximum dynamic pressure. The throttle down that reduces the aerodynamic load on the vehicle. Three APUs looking good, all engines looking good. Velocity is 1,200 feet per second. Atlantis now downrange, three nautical miles. Crew has received the go at throttle up call. That call means that all systems are performing well. The three engines are now back at 104%. Velocity, 2,200 feet per second. Downrange, eight nautical miles. Separation of the solid rocket booster is confirmed by the booster officer. And that is the picture that everyone and waits for. Once the solid rockets come off, they are in a uh, much better position. Uh, those people living up along the East Coast uh, probably have a view of uh, uh, Atlantic. Uh, on its uh, northern trajectory, uh, a different uh, view than uh, people normally have of the shuttle as it takes off. They were uh, heading right up the east coast uh, after their launch and uh, are doing so uh, uh, well up in the northern part of the track right now. So Atlantis is on its way uh, for a mission that uh, we don't know exactly how long it's going to last. We believe that it will continue on for about four and a half days uh, because this is a classified mission uh, in about 24 hours. They will uh, tell us uh, when they will be coming back uh, as far as the, the uh, time at uh, Edwards Air Force Base in California. So once again, Atlantis launched successfully from the Kennedy Space Center.